the MCU Punisher movie that almost was. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CB Nostalgia, and we got a little bit of a story about the Punisher. But first, we wanted to remind everybody, if you're looking for all your comic book news, rumors, and reviews, all while looking for the best and positive in what we all love, this is your place. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Well, probably one of the saddest things to happen for Marvel fans is the cancellation of all the Netflix shows. People really wanted to see Vincent D'Onofrio's Kingpin square off against Tom Holland or Charlie Cox's Daredevil meet Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow. Most of that is likely never going to happen. But one character Marvel still seems to have a little bit of interest in is John Bernthal's Punisher. Now, he was a huge fan favorite and I personally liked both seasons and I really wanted to see where they were going to take the character in the future. Now, interestingly enough, Adam G. Simon, who's actually the writer for the upcoming remake of The Raid, has revealed that that could actually happen. Now, he had an interview with comicbook.com and explained that he had been a longtime fan of the character and that he had once pitched a movie to Marvel. Now, this would have seen the John Bernthal version of the character go up against the one and only Nick Fury. This is what he said. You gotta let this thing live in R-rated territory, and it has begun with that same grit and unapologetic boldness of Logan. In my take, we find Frank Kessel, as we left him at the end of the series, only now aware of the threat that superheroes and villains pose to mankind. So, Frank Kessel has to go gunning for the person who he feels responsible for the innumerable civilian casualties, the one who started it all by organizing these weapons of mass destruction together. Nick Fury. The twist is, Frank's being used, and he spots a double cross early at the end of Act 1. From that point on, you have a 310 to Yuma situation, Frank and Fury on the run from everyone, heroes, and villains. It's 310 to Yuma meets Leon the Professional by the way of the Winter Soldier. Now that sounds like quite a blast to me, and I love the idea of taking Bernthal's character and carrying it forward. Now he went on to say how disappointed he was to see the whole series cancelled, and I don't think he's alone about this. Even Frank Bernthal himself has expressed some interest in reprising the role. Now, whether Marvel will actually move on this is completely unknown. We have been told we are going to get a rated R Deadpool movie, but now that Bob Iger is out, who knows. I would love to see Marvel embrace some of these rated R characters, move several of those guys over to Fox, and just let them cut loose. Then just tone them down a little when you do MCU crossovers. We'll have to wait and see. So what do you guys think of this idea for an R-rated Punisher movie? Would you like to see Bernthal's Castle and Samuel L. Jackson Fury on the run? I think that sounds like a blast. Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you press like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Peace.